you know, the cigar box guitar has a long history in American folk music. This one's missing a string, but I like three strings anyway. Basically, I lived in New York City for um, 11 years before, you know, moving here. So I was in New York from 84 to 95. And all through those years, uh, I was mostly, you know, playing. Well, I had my own band back then. It was called Chunk. We made a few records for the Knitting Factory label. I was quite involved in those years with music uh, from what was called the downtown scene. Um, a lot of improvised music, a lot of uh, so-called avant-garde music and so forth um, with a number of different people. So there were a lot of sessions going on, a lot of stuff going on, and a lot of touring. So I uh, did a lot of touring in Europe and as well, you know, came to, as I mentioned, came to Japan. So um, that was my first sort of taste of Japan was coming here for tours and uh, that was also during the bubble period which was phenomenal. And uh, so it was pretty, uh, as the years went on, I was less and less uh, happy about having to go back to New York City to live after a tour of Japan. Mm -hmm. So I always kind of wanted to stay longer. And uh, so yeah, I came here in 95 and um, been here ever since. I've got a few things going. Um, one is, uh, um, they're both relatively recently started bands. Um, one is called Medicine Bone with a guy named Ken Shima who plays a uh, guitar and I'm on drums uh, what I call walking drums just a couple of drums that I stuck together that you can kinda walk with um, and vocals we both sing it's headed in uh, the direction of uh, the blues um, with a healthy dose I suppose of some African influence and inspiration and uh, so I'm pretty excited about that project it's called Medicine Bone <laughs> got another one called uh, the Ghost Steppers, uh, aka Sam Bennett's Ghost Steppers. And that band is a quartet uh, uh, with a banjo, guitar, and harmonica. And myself, again, on walking drums and vocal. And that uh, project is uh, sort of an Americana roots, blues, country cover band. I've got a long-standing project that I do uh, with my wife, Ito Haruna, and that's called Skist. And uh, we are fairly infrequent about it, although we continue doing it. Uh, we generally don't play much more than four or five times a year, but um, we really enjoy doing it. Haruna does vocals and electronics and noise feedback, uh, works with toys and junk, and I do a little bit of everything, percussion, electronics, programming. Uh, um, yeah, sound making, beats. It's hard to say about carving out a niche. I think just like anywhere else, uh, probably the thing to do is just uh, gig a lot, try to uh, be as true to your muse as possible, not get too swayed uh, by, uh, you know, trends. Try to keep it, you know, real for yourself. And if there's any uh, luck and or justice, you'll find your niche. But to be quite honest, I'm not even sure what that means, your niche. Uh, I think it's a great town to play music in. 
because there's just so many places to play, you know, and uh, compared to even, you know, places like New York, it's just got to be, I don't know, how many, what percentage more there is, but there's a lot more places to play in Tokyo. Um, it's kind of phenomenal sometimes when I really think about it. So, uh, yeah, I'd give the same advice to, as I would to anybody anywhere. Just, you know, follow your, uh, follow your bliss. Well, you know, obviously there's, there's plenty to enjoy in Tokyo, uh, depending on where your interests lie. One thing I really enjoy, I guess, is just uh, walking through uh, neighborhoods that I'm not familiar with. And the fact is, Tokyo is so enormous that even after 15 years, I'm still quite often walking through neighborhoods that I'm completely unfamiliar with and I've never been to before, which is really saying something, you know. And uh, to me, it's almost like a traveling in your own city, you know. It's just so huge, so many parts of town that I'm unfamiliar with, that um, it always holds the prospect of something, you know, well unknown. Thank you.